it is now emerging that security cameras at the highly guarded committee maximum prison were all out on the day of the escape of three terror convicts. <laughs> Detectives from the DCI Serious Crimes Unit, Anti-Terror Prevention Unit, Forensic Experts and Crime Scene Processing Officers are looking into how security camera malfunction happened and why it was never reported. Preliminary investigations show that committee prison warders Pamela Cherubet Kiplimo, Peter Thukukamau, Lilian Mukasia Lunani, and Nicholas Oteno Abongo, who are in police custody, were manning the security cameras and were on the duty on the 14th and 15th November when the convicts escaped from lawful custody. <laughs> Furthermore, police want to know how the officers failed to notice the activities of the terror convicts prior to and during the escape, despite the condemned Block A6 being covered by CCTV cameras, and if they noticed the activities of the escapees, their reasons for failing to report. Uh, the real work begins. What happened here on Monday was a very uh, rude awakening that there are certain lapses that we need to deal with. We have spent the last three days working on, you know, how to deal with some of those challenges. And I pray to God that we never get here as a country because the level of anxiety the country got into was uh, unnecessary because of the lapses that were here. The government has already approved the installation of the new CCTV cameras and biometrics equipment. In last week's crisis security meeting at Statos Nairobi, President Huru Kenata ordered the Department of Correctional Services to take disciplinary action against all Kenya prison service personnel who were on duty when the rearrested fugitives broke out. And we have officers we suspect failed in their duty to do this. We will ensure that the law takes its course and we bring all those who are involved to justice. Investigators are also assessing a suspicious money trail and communication network involving some prison officers at committee, dating months before the escape of the three prisoners. <laughs> Upon their recapture, convict Mohammed Abdi Abikar confessed to having been aided from committee by prison officers in exchange for a brine. <laughs> Kama simu zetu hazingepotea, eh, mungewachilia sisi. Kamuuliza kwa nini? Nyinyi mwezi mkashinde ile watu wako kamiti na mwachilia sisi. Tungempea nyinyi pesa. Police are also analyzing data from two damaged mobile phones recovered near the scene where the three prisoners were rearrested. Preliminary investigations have established that the escapees were in communication with unknown men who ferried them from Kamiti to Machakos town via a private car and were reportedly waiting to pick them up later, a few kilometers from where they were caught. Detectives believe the escapees were handed the communication gadgets soon as they left jail. Seth Olale NTV.